Six health experts are out with advice on outdoor dining to protect yourself from coronavirus exposure. News Channel 3's Danny Romero breaks down the concerns that still exist. Businesses like Fresh Agave and Palm Desert have turned their parking lot into a dining area with tables six feet apart and minimal covering for open air to come in as a way for customers to feel safe. It's better to keep the area open uh, you know, air keeping circulating. Same, same reason why we didn't put a full canopy on top. But tents like this one are popping up across the area for diners to sit outside. Riverside County health officials say if a tent has three walls and no windows, it's truly not outdoor dining. They are monitoring restaurants for these tents. Certainly understand as it gets colder and we want to have the heaters and we don't want the breeze blowing on us. But now you really are in essence just creating indoor dining outside of the four walls of the, of the restaurant. Dr. Alan Williamson from Eisenhower Health says the risk for coronavirus exposure is higher the more an area is enclosed. So what should you look for when it comes to dining out safely? You know, wide open space like we're in right now today, this would be the most ideal setting. Close family together enjoying the outside, enjoying a nice meal. I think that's a safe endeavor for people. But there are other factors at play, like who are you dining with? Be very careful about even small group, group gatherings where we have people from different households, now we really are increasing the spread factor. And even outdoors, live music may bring increased risk for virus spread. The louder I have to try to speak to you, the more I'm going to be propelling particles even through the mask, even through a face mask. So that is an issue. And before you sit down at the table, be patient. Reduce your risk of exposure by letting the sanitizer do its work. Typically, they have to have at least three or four minutes of wet time uh, for most all of them to be sure that we actually are killing the virus. In Palm Desert, Danny Romero, News Channel 3.